Our other top story, four of the seven Romulus school board members voting to put its superintendent on paid administrative leave. You are wrong. Point to, point to order. You, there's no order in this. The way you have done this is, is egregious. Point of order. So you can tell it caused an uproar from other board members and those in attendance during Monday's meeting. Jason Coltharp live in Romulus tonight with more on what's being alleged here. Jason. Well, a couple of things, Devin. First, uh, auditors for the district allege that they have not been able to find several receipts for district purchases, but they have been able to locate several invoices to the same company, which suggests to them that the required competitive bidding process isn't being followed like it's supposed to, and it's triggered an audit, which if you look through the door here at uh, the district headquarters, you can see is in progress. And when all of this came out at the meeting Monday, there was outrage. At the Romulus School Board meeting Monday night, board members raised an issue of questionable credit card spending by the superintendent's office. After suggestions for an outside investigator to get to the bottom of it, there's an off-mic discussion between some of the board about a resolution to remove the superintendent that seemingly catches several off guard. The board hereby places Superintendent Benjamin Edmondson on paid administrative leave pending an immediate Gavel. Superintendent Benjamin Edmondson is seen on the right immediately packing up and leaving and board member Denisa Terrell speaks up in opposition. You are wrong. Point to order. You are wrong. Point to point of order. You, there's no order in this. The way you have done this is, is egregious. The, the, the impression that has been painted up here is that it's all Dr. Edmondson and it is not. It is not him. And you have subcommittees that are running the district. Board President Debbie Piles tries to immediately adjourn, which leads to outrage from some of those in attendance. No, we have we have a meeting. Sit down. We have a meeting. You don't tell us to sit down. Yeah, that went on for several minutes, by the way, before things finally settled down. Uh, I was able to talk to the superintendent tonight on advice of counsel. He's not responding to any of this, but he did tell me uh, he loves the district, loves the people, and plans to be back. I also spoke to the school board president, Debbie Piles. Uh, she didn't have time to talk tonight, and she was also unable to answer some questions later that I, I posed to her via text about how this wasn't on the agenda, and also some gripes from people in attendance that they weren't allowed to give public comment on this. So I think we're, we haven't heard the last of this. Back to you. Well, this might sound like a ridiculous question, but who's running the district then tonight? That's the other thing. They, uh, oh, perfect. Uh, the train. That's right. It's not, it has nothing to do with the train, but they did appoint a interim superintendent, and the school board, the school board <laughs> president posted a letter uh, advising the district to just kind of bear with us, let the investigation play out, and let it get to the, to the bottom of this. Near the train in Romulus, back to you. It's the 11.05 coming through right on time. All right, Jason. <laughs> sure.